that will go up and see counter groups. You do have to go up and um, apply to stairs, so watch your step. When they open the door, uh, you do get a whiff of fish to the seat a little bit. <laughs> they are kind of stinky, um, but you guys won't be able to smell it after just a few minutes, okay? When you guys get seat counter room, um, you're going to pick a spot on the bench. That will be your seat through the entire counter. You guys are not allowed to get up or move around. Um, it does frighten the birds. And as much as you want to, and we do emphasize, don't reach towards the penguins. Um, they don't like to be cut, so you guys will kind of see how they interact with each other. They'll bicker if anybody gets too close. Um, they're just not a very social bird. Um, and they also have been half-fed their whole life. So if you guys are reaching towards them, they think that you're feeding them, and they might like to see them. We do have the tunes for you guys with open toe tunes. They are required, um, just because they will come up and bite your toes. <laughs> that would hurt. Okay. We don't want that. What? Um, did you guys have any questions for me before we get started? Nothing? I think I we're just, just excited. Go. I know, we're just, just go. We're just ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Anticipation makes it better, right? Mm -hmm. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we've gone over everything. We do have some coats for you guys, if you guys don't already have your own. It is pretty chilly. It's about 42 degrees. Wait, it's been colder outside, but there is a high humidity. So it feels a lot colder than it is. Okay? So we're going to head back and see our paint wave. We volunteered on the youth service day. Oh. Well, we volunteered at all four sites. Oh. So on our last day, they let us go in the back and see the birds. We're going to sneak right over back here, guys. Okay. 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 okay, guys, these are our penguins. Um, we have 11 dance new penguins. We have six girls and five boys, ranging in age from about a year to almost 12. They can live about over, I think it's over 20 years in captivity. A little less in the wild uh, because of the conditions of predators. You guys notice they all have armbands on their wings with different colored beans. Yes, we can tell who too by the colors of beans. But we actually have them all listed right here. So if they have a name, it lists their name. Uh, Coco is our oldest, and her mate is Valkymer. They haven't uh, made a couple for a little while. Hopefully we'll have some babies this summer. Still waiting, we didn't get any last summer. Oh. They've been building that, uh, but they did not make it. So it has their birthday and how much they weigh and just some, uh, some behaviors that people who take care of them have noticed. So you guys can come take a closer look at this. Um, when you guys are done, it has their armbands so you guys can recognize them. Uh, so Jessica penguins are the third largest species of penguins. The largest are the emperor penguins, and there's a picture of them right over there. They are bigger than you think that they are when you see them in the movie. They're pretty tall. Second comes the key. We don't have a picture of them, but then our gen two. You can recognize the gen two from other penguins because they have the white earmuffs. Uh, they're the only penguin that have that. Um, and these guys are actually the fastest swimming species as well. They've been clocked at 22 miles an hour in the water, which is fast, considering the fastest human can swim maybe seven. <laughs> They are pretty fast. They're beautiful. Uh, they bolt once a year. Uh, some of these guys did bolt last year. There's a diagram over there. If you guys get a chance to look at it, it kind of shows what they look like. They do get pretty frumpy looking. Um, they lose all of their feathers at once because um, if they lost them just throughout the year, when they would enter the water, they would lose that waterproof seal and they would get pulled out. Um, so they would, when they are molting, they kind of just hang out on the rocks. Sometimes they get pushed in. Not a big deal here. <laughs> but uh, they do look kind of sad looking, but it only lasts about a week. Sometimes too. And it also happens they molt it or not. How big is it in the back? In the room? Well, I know that when you're standing on the other side of the glass, it can be very deceiving on how large it really is in there. Yeah, you guys actually don't get to go in these exhibits. Okay. The room is just right there. You guys can kind of peek in um, at it. No, but how large is their exhibit? No, I'm actually not sure. I've never been in there. Um, the person who's going to go into the kitchen and kind of room with you, they go in there and oh, see the whole kitchen. Okay. And these guys do look, uh, they are a little bit bigger than they look behind the glass. They stand about average, about average meat level. Okay. So, you guys are ready. We're going to head.